Hello, check check for the one peeps. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Panky Vlog. So with me, Pramika and mommy, Hello. mommy, my mother-in-law, that Pramika's mom. Uh, mommy, welcome to Panky Vlog. Hi. <laughs> so you need to ex uh, explain, translate whatever mom speak in English, either. All right, we're getting the ticket. And we've been a couple of times over here, but we need to get the ticket and then we go. So this is the ticket counter. So we get the ticket and we go in. All right. All right. If the ticket price for so day pass is like forty nine dollar, but I don't know. There used to be a discount for locals, like people who live in Northern Rivers, but I'm not sure at the moment. But that was after COVID time. And it's our already fourth, fourth time. Yeah, but <laughs> no matter if you come a thousand times as well, it suits your soul. It's, it's a beautiful good vibe. All right, Pips. So, oh, okay, this is a new one. We got our ticket passes. So, if you are from local Northern Rivers, like uh, it's forty percent discount in your pass. So, me and Pramika, we got the discount and. His mom, she's visiting, so she didn't. But anyway, it's good 40% off for uh, two of us. And this is the new one because last time when I visit, it was not here. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful crystal castle in Northern Rivers. You can Google it, and it's definitely you need to visit at least once. All right, folks. Um, it's good, small greeny. You can see all those buddhist things hindu things it's a vegetarian cafe lots of crystals around meditations and all those things so yeah it's beautiful all right so this is the uh like buddhist thing well this stupa you, you got the stupa you can walk around here all those swim uh and then part of Swainbu, you got the mini Boulder Stupa. So it's pretty familiar with this one. Okay. It's beautiful. So, mommy, what's the line, mommy? I'll let you know. Oh? I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll let I'm asking uh, Pramika's like mom how she feels, so she, she feels really good as soon as she enters because like yeah, feels like she's in Nepal, like we are pretty familiar with because Buddha was born in Nepal and we got a Sohimbu temple, Buddha is too bad, so it's, you get that vibe. Uh, when you come in here, alright, green tara. I'm gonna pay me home, I'm gonna pay me home. So that's the title I got uh, in my hand. As you can see, it's a Tibetan word. I'm gonna pay me home. So it's a meaning, it's about love, peace, harmony, something like that. And it's written here as well. So that's the title I got on my hand. Let's do this. I always do this whenever I'm in Kumba. I do this too far. So, alright, so this is the uh, people go boat, we call it in Nepali. It's a Buddha Bodhi tree. So, so these are this tree is like Buddha, Lord Buddha used to meditate under this tree. Like, not here but wherever he was in nepal or wherever he went around those areas mm, direct just sent it a buddha's bodhi tree the buddha is said to have become enlightened 2500 years ago uh yeah so he got enlightenment when he was meditating under this uh bodhi tree in in this under this tree it's, it's, i think i have to start doing meditation as well again so let's see folks Mm. So yeah, this is the, mm, 
but the plant we got is a bit different. Yeah, one yeah. Different yeah, that's a different. It's it's. I think it's the same. Given that you, yeah, same breed, but it's a different plant. All right, peeps. So it's good. Let's go. Anyway. Mommy, the people go, bore go, and it is for the shop. Any of a gumba, what you know? Well, at the duty in Gore, Matra Bosnia, and in Mom Light. So, as we arrived from Sydney on try from Sydney on Thursday, last Thursday, and we were working Friday, Saturday, Sunday until Monday. So, she was just staying at home and she was really bored. But once we started exploring since yesterday. So now she thinks like, oh, because uh, otherwise she was saying like Sydney, she wants to, like Sydney is much better than here, but now she is loving it. Anyway, folks, it looks really good. So we're going to take a few pictures. So, so this is the area for the rainforest, folks. So uh, it's a walk. A rainforest. It's beautiful, beautiful. You got like, such, a, such a good vibe. It's absolutely awesome. So this is the cave, Enchanted Cave. Uh, I'll show you the crystals. So the, most of the crystals, as you can see here, so these are the all real crystals. That's the crystals. And let me see the enchanted cave. Wow! 120 million years ago in northern Uruguay, it was found. Oh my goodness! These crystals, strictly not climbing into the cave. Except this was already Uruguay, Twenty years back, yeah, it was found in Uruguay. Like, oh, yeah. All right, this. So we're right here. I think it looks pretty busy. Uh, a bit busy than we used to come before. So there's a cafe, and we go to the crystal tower as well. I think that's the largest crystal tower. Ever. So as you can see, uh, please do not touch the spinning rose quartz ball, but it's made of crystal, so it spins. In this way, yep. Yeah. As you can see, uh, and you'll see the reveal Nepal as well. I think when there was an earthquake in 2015, so uh, this is about Nepal rebuilding it, uh, or maybe I don't know. So, reveal Nepal current major project San Le Village School and Community Center Rosua. In 2015 earthquake, much of San Avole village was destroyed. Over the past three years, the Crystal Castle has been working to help rebuild the community. We work with local partners, planet, and with your support. The opening is 2020, and construction is still ongoing. On the ah, cool. Okay, so after the earthquake, they are rebuilding the helping uh, school and community centers. San Avole village in Russia, right? Nepal. All right, because I'm from Nepal, and then uh, I haven't been to that village yet. I know Russia, but I haven't never been to there. But it's such a good thing. So they are helping with all those uh, profit or whatever they own. They help rebuilding all the social cause and work. And they are doing helping Nepal at all for some of the villages over there. Which is really good things. It's so good. All right, tips. So, so this is the cafe. I think you they did lots of renovation, isn't it? The cheers and all those things. So they got a plenty of tables, chairs, and all those things. So let's see. They got the samosas as well. Have a look. That's a big, big cake. Samosa, rice, salad, and some chutneys, I reckon. <laughs> I don't know. No menu at all. So let's see. Are we eating something here, Nano? All right. Let's see. Let's scroll first. And let me see the menu. So this is the beautiful cafe. Indian plate dal. So that's the menu. Indian plate dal, rice, samosa, served with beetroot, relish, and salad. Uh, you get samosa as well. My goodness. Oh, okay. 27 bucks for that one. I'm not feeding the bots. Okay. You're not allowed to feed the bots. That's what they were saying. All those infrastructures have been changed. Lots of chairs, lots of tables compared to last time when I visit. Ah, that's a crystal tower, beautiful. Look at those hills up here. That's lovely. It's really good, folks. And if you got kids and stuff, you can bring them. They can play over there in the playground as well. Uh, it's good, you can sit here and eat too. 
it's crystals lovely I think I did one vlogs over here before but all right they are ready to get the pictures all right pips so this is the crystal garden standing at the bridge no that's all right that's okay thanks standing at the bridge taking five and a half meters mm, five and a half meters smoky quartz coat with delicate sprinkles and uh, so five and a half meter tall i reckon so i think this is the biggest crystal tower as you can see um it's lovely it's beautiful in the hill so actually i don't know how many people they open this one in one of the hill so they are also sunny Asins. so they are more familiar with hindu culture hindu god uh india nepal they have been they traveled and three of those i don't know how many like i heard like three of them they opened this one um crystal castle so it's really really sambala beautiful it's really beautiful sambala sambala organic food garden as you can see bamboo tree over there um that's pumpkin i reckon i don't know pumpkin i'm not that familiar with vegetations and all the stuffs but yeah 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 it's beautiful so they got the hindu god buddha statues and everything i have a craving of uh, meal samosas and of everything but i don't think i'm gonna eat that one at the moment anyway all right peeps, so as you can see so that's a hindu god lord ganesha um non-hindu people i think most of the people they recognize lord ganesha with uh, different body structures and stuffs with trunk on the head um, so i gonna show you this Ganesha is the removal of obstacles so it's a hindu god uh, the hindu religion believes that honoring Ganesh before new ventures and during life changes assures easier transition and success he's also revealed as the god of education and literature knowledge wisdom and wealth yeah so every tuesday i perform vegetarian because i was a blood Ganesh. i think Ganesh was born in tuesday on tuesday i reckon mm. so i got one of the tattoo of lord Ganesha as well anyway peeps, it's pretty sunny but not humid uh 28 i reckon 27 28 degree it's a sunny day sunny day but it's beautiful as you can look at the flowers autumn going on that's a lost mix statue uh hindu god Lakshmi, uh, god of wealth mm. Beautiful God of wealth. Uh, Lakshmi is Hindu God, we worship as a God of wealth. So, Lakshmi, your mommy, you say, It happens in Walla Mamma, Lakshmi Bogwan. Lakshmi Bogwan, one is a key of Hatma, and the Hindu. You? Look at time long. You want to know? Locks me when I go about Kibano Locks me when I go to about Don't go there. Don't go. 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 Don't what does like Lakshmi represent? So she's saying God of wealth. Uh, anyway, so Lakshmi Hindu goddess of fortune, prosperity, wisdom, and fertility. She also immense beauty, grace, and charm. She's always shown with the lotus. A lotus. So lotus actually. So my name is Pan, my name is Pankaj. So in Hindu, Pankaj means lotus, lotus flower. All right. So yeah, somehow Lakshmi is connected with me. So hopefully, I'm gonna win the lottery. Let's see. Uh, people bar full tarul so she's so saying like she saw so many plants trees and flowers like you find in nepal so she's quite surprised because you won't see that much in other part of australia so over here so she saw a few of the things like she found like it's usually grow in nepal uh it's beautiful folks have a look you are with nature you connect with nature you correct connect connecting nature means you are connecting with god all right that's what i that's my logic or that's my opinion connecting with nature is like connecting with god uh, 
It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, folks. So, watch your steps. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's Vishnu Bhagwan. Oh, uh, um, I reckon. I've been here a couple of times. As you can see, look at the bamboo tree. Look at the bamboo tree, isn't it, the mommy? Bas here, okay? Oh, it's heaven, heaven. Ah, uh, Garuda, Garuda and Vishnu. So Vishnu Bhagwan is with Garuda, okay? So that's Garuda. Eh, okay. So Vishnu Bhagwan is riding Garuda. Yeah, it was in Bali. Oh yeah, that, that is the tallest. Yeah. I think world tallest Vishnu statue, Lord mm -hmm. Vishnu and Garuda statue in yeah. Bali when we went on September. That's true, true. Okay, we're gonna take some pictures. So uh, Vishnu preserves and protects the embodied. It's a Hindu god as well, folks. All right. So Vishnu preserves and protects. He embodies strength, energy, and wealth. You can Google it, Garuda, Vishnu, everything. So as you can see, I love this part. This part is like oh, seven. All right, it's beautiful. Oh, you listen what they say? Balubas, you tell me. Bamboo suit. Ani, oily some cost to like it as a mummy. Oily, I mean, busy chili, the oily some of it. Nepal get by the idea, Nepal Migos. Bass on Kiki, people go boat, Borko boat, Ani Bogwan, Eru, Hindu Bogwan, Eru. All right. <laughs> so just asking her like how she feels she's feeling at the moment since she enjoyed it till now. So saying like it's, she's really feeling good because some of, so many things, uh, trees, plants, and all those fruits we have in Nepal as well. So she's really feeling really good. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. She said the bamboo tree, bamboo shoot as well. All righty. Nepal ma ki bancha la? Piralu bancha? Mane ko boat bante ami. So this is the leaf you'll find in Nepal. Plain teas in Nepal as well. So you can eat this one as well. It's yummy. But I haven't. Had, but it's yummy. People they say that. And when you drop water in it, so water, it won't get wet like other leaves. As you can see the water particles over there. So we go this way. This way. Yeah. So Nandi, we got a god, Nandi Bhagwan. There's a great story behind him as well. Always, it's Nandi Mata. Yeah, so good. So I think I have to take the picture of you and mom over there. All right, I'll take a picture. All right, peeps. So it's a Dhyan Bimal. So that's a Sanyasi name. All like you can see the Hindu's name. Known and non deeply love speaks to you. Your love holds you at all times. It has never happened on you in your life. Yeah, love is like everybody needs love. Without love, you can't uh, you can't exist in this world. No love, no life. Mm. And so we're gonna take a picture. So mommy is already ready, as as Papa Mika as well. All right, all right, peeps. As you can see, Buddha statue. It's a beautiful Buddha, I think the beautiful god have you ever seen, I reckon. Buddha statue is always gorgeous. Alright, pops, pops, pips, pips. So this is the Buddha statue area, as you can see. Everybody is familiar with Buddha, isn't it? I don't have to explain about, more about Buddha. He uh, was born in Nepal, in Lumbini. Um, and he went like different parts of the world, meditating, sitting under the tree, Bodhi tree. Meditating and and yeah, he got enlightenment. Enlightenment, like yeah, because existence turned him as a form of human being. He was born in a, I think, rural family, but that's existence sent him to carry a message to all, to awake the peoples. Literally, we are asleep. Look at the face, beautiful Buddha statue, sculptures. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. So lots of photo shoots going on. Mm, beautiful, nice. All right, I'll take the picture of you and mom. All right, peeps. So the day is so good. It's not that hot, not humid. Up twenty seven twenty, but the sun is uh, far out. It's so strong, but it's good. It's not raining actually. It's better that better than rain because if you're traveling somewhere and if you have to scroll under 
there's no roof at all and then yeah it's good if there, it's not raining so i think we still got one more spot i can take a picture over there hi how are you mm, and we are done after this i had a craving of that summer saga but that's all right we're gonna later No, no, it's not. All right, ready for the picture? Mommy, ready? All right, peeps. So we are done with Crystal Castle this time. So we finish, push to exit, and pushing it. All right, was a great trip. So we are done. Nice trip. A bit hungry. Uh, I'll see you in a while. Kiwa, nere bulele? Hello, Other. I am fine. Nice to meet you. I am fine. So she's talking about the neighbor. And we are at work and he was just asking her like... Alright, people. So we are right here in Mulim Mimbi. So that's alright. Because I got the key over here. That's the reason. So we are going to buy a goat meat. So today... It's been a cheat week for me. Cheat week, not cheat. Seven, eight, ten days already. So I've been eating everything. So today is my last cheat day. I decided to eat some goat meat if we got some. Where is that? Yeah, we are here, please. Usually we come here to eat good. We only eat twice a year. But whenever we eat, we want to eat good, we always come here. Nah, we live in Lismore. Oh, Lismore, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We used to live in Sydney, but we just moved like three years back. Yeah. So we lived in Sydney for seven years, and then two and a half years it's been we are living in Lismore. So we used to have like, like just a meat as well and with bone as well. Yeah, this is with bone. This with bone. Oh, okay, okay. We used to have uh, just, just meat, yeah. meat, but no. not nowadays. People want the bone, so uh, yeah, bone meat yeah. and all those combined. True. All right, it's yummy as well. All right, so we are getting goat, and we're gonna cook this tonight and eat. Oh yeah. What's that? Gold yeah, 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 we are very Gold Khan. <laughs> From Nepal, yeah, true. Yeah, we are a Gold Khan. Yeah. Alright, thanks, man. Thank you so much. Alrighty. So, folks, so, got the meat, 28 bucks, 1.5 kilo. I'm gonna finish this one tonight. Because from tomorrow onwards, again, it's my healthy day, alright? Yeah, no, I said, I mentioned already, like, it's my cheap week. So from last 10, 14 days, I'm eating everything because we went to Sydney and all those stuff. But and today it's the last day. So from tomorrow onwards, I'm gonna eat some healthy stuff. All right, peeps, right here in Bonswick Bakery, getting some coffee. All right. All right, peeps, so I'm right here in Bonswick uh, Bakery, Bon in Bonswick Head. So just grab some almond portion and oranges. And we're gonna get some food in a while. So it's gonna sit somewhere over next to the river and it, like a picnic. And Pramika and Mom, they are sitting in the car over there. Mm. Waiting for the coffee too. But this almond crescent, it's born to the bakery. Mm. It's too yummy. It's active. Trust me. It's too yummy, folks. Just waiting for my coffee. All right, folks, so we are in Thai shop in Bonsu Head. So all the cafes are closed, so we just want... from because she wants to have uh, dumplings, four pieces of pork and prawn steamed dumplings, and uh, the Pad Thai. Uh, I think we go after Pad Thai, Nanu. Pad Thai? Uh, Pad Thai, Nanu. Oh. That one is yummy. Until, until 4 o'clock? Oh, really? We just do the bubble tea all day. Oh, alright, alright, that's okay then. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, Pip, so she was so excited to have Tom Tom Thai food, like dumplings and noodles. <laughs> but she's unlucky today because they start making food at 4 only. 
so it's just 2 220 so we are not sitting that long over here just spending one hour or something like that we're gonna eat we take some pictures rest for a while and then we go back to Lisbon all right folks so we're gonna buy some burger from there all right folks I'm right here in St. Mal's because 20 minutes back we ordered a pizza we have ham and pineapple Hawaiian pizza uh, we're gonna sit next to the river and eat so I just come to grab it so once I grab it I go and eat I didn't tell you how can I taste like all right this is the first time I'm getting pizza from this shop all right folks as you can see I got a pizza from St. Mary, St. Mary's and it's a wine bar as well from Mika and her mom sitting next to the river uh, eating and looking beautiful view and I just grabbed the pizza so I'm driving there just one minute drive just come to grab the pizza all right and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna taste like right here in Bonswick all right all right this mommy in the house Pramika in the house as well we are sitting just next to the Brunswick River uh, not far from Mulemimbi so we decided uh, to come over here and then sit have some picnic and get some pizza no eat some actually she was uh, thinking she was desperately thinking of getting some Thai food dumplings whatever but uh, it was close so we decided to eat pizza uh, I mean and mommy it's a fasting so she can't eat any food at all she's vegetarian too so she don't eat outside so she already got like sweet potatoes uh, watermelon orange juice uh, what else bananas and everything so she's just eating fruits and stuffs so we are next to the river as you can see so we're gonna eat relax all right i'll show you how it's gonna taste like let me see um, you can eat you can start eating um, Fantastic! Mm. And pineapple, pepper in it. Mm. Nice and yummy, peeps. Nice and yummy, trust me. Not that good like the Lismo one. We used to have like all those uh, Lismo pizza, Nimmin pizza. What is the name of the pizzas? All places. Casino pizza. Uh, yeah. Lim, Lim, Lismo one is yummy, good fire one. This one is not too bad, but not, not too bad, not too good. Alright? Anyway, see you in a while. No, no. Anyway, see you next episode. Till then, bye bye, Tata Kudabis. Hasta la vista, baby. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.